for the parachute and streamer duration varieties, um, what I recommend is that you put the shock cord along the root edge of the fins and glue it there. Um, so you just lay it in the, the channel there. And we're just going to tack it down with CA glue. I'm going to use thin CA glue, so I need my safety goggles. Oops. Didn't take. If it doesn't want to stick, use a piece of metal like your hobby knife until it grabs, because that's a lot easier to remove than your finger. Okay. Now the other end of the shock cord. Um, this is going to go inside the nose cone, and we're just going to glue it inside the, the uh, nose cone. Um, and then we're going to cover it up with a piece of paper, kind of like the Estes shock cord mount. But we're going to do it on the inside of the nose. And I need a piece of plastic. So I'm just cutting a piece of plastic, and this is going to, I'm going to put this over my finger so that my finger doesn't stick when I. Put it inside the nose cone. So I'm going to take some super glue. Now when you when you put it in, and I'm waiting for my glue to come down to the bottom right now. When you, you put it in, you have to make sure that it's going to go deep enough where it's not going to interfere with the shoulder going into the nose cone. So I'm just going to Put some, this is thick CA glue. Um, it's a little easier to work with when you're inside the nose cone. So I'm going to put it in there. And then I take my piece of plastic and use that to cover my finger so that my finger doesn't stick. It's hard to do this upside down. Gonna hold it there for a couple of seconds. Okay, and then I'm gonna put some glue on the piece of paper. This is probably about a Three quarters of an inch wide by about an inch long. It's sticking to my finger there. There we go. Get it, get it, cover up the uh, shock cord, and then press it down. With the plastic. Okay. Okay. Now that's glued in there. Um, there's not a lot of stress on this nose cone since it has so little mass. There's not a lot of inertia to yank on it. So um, this will hold it pretty good. Um, I should have mentioned that you want to use um, odorless CA or foam safe CA when you're, when you're doing this part, especially when you're working around the edges um, because the super glue, because it heats up, it kind of melts the plastic a little bit and it could really cause it to uh, split. So try to use the foam safe CA. Uh, and when you glue the shoulder in, you definitely want to use foam safe because it uh, will attack this foam really quick. 
Now we can't put this in here because it's, it's, there's a, it's going to interfere with that shock cord. So we need to cut a slit along the side of the shoulder. So you just take your hobby knife and just lay it along and just kind of work it way in and kind of make a V. And that will pop right out. And I'm going to take my foam safe CA. And I'm going to put that on the inside of this nose cone. And put the shot cord in that little V groove. And then slide it in. And you want to make sure it's nice and straight so that the nose cone fits on the, the tube nice and straight. Okay, so now we have the nose cone attached to the body tube. Um, now we need a place to attach the parachute or the streamer. You, um, so we're going to make a, a knot in this nose cone or in the shock cord. So I'll just double it over and then just make a overhand knot. that. Now that is the loop where we're going to attach the parachute or the streamer. Uh, that way there's there's no load put on the nose cone and it's pretty close. You want it pretty close to the bottom of the nose cone so that when the nose cone comes out it, it stretches the shock cord all the way. So we're pretty pretty close to being done here. All we have to do is make the parachute and attach it and then we're going to go out and we can launch it. <laughs>